Yes. So first of all, uh, my sincere thank to Raghu and the other organizer, uh, you know, uh, for entertaining my last minute uh, uh, request. I thought uh, this will be a good occasion. Uh, so particularly what I'm going to talk in the next 25 minutes or so, because I think I need to keep a bit of time for question answer. So let's see. So uh, I'll be talking about, um, you know, uh, several uh, results from uh, in the search for light dark matter candidate uh, at the flavor factories and uh, which are essentially this uh, A plus C e minus experiment. <laughs> Uh, Bell, uh, Babar, uh, and, and Bell too, the next generation uh, flavor factory. Uh, so uh, below uh, uh, <clears throat> on here, you see the uh, brief uh, outline of the talk. I will quickly introduce, uh, uh, you know, because the audience may not necessarily uh, be aware of the flavor factory. So I'll, I'll quickly uh, sort of uh, introduce the flavor factories and what are the key aspects of this uh, experiment. And then I move on to some of the, uh, the results on, on the so-called uh, light dark matter particle, uh, the, the, the dark photon and, uh, you know, the, the, the dark Higgs and action like particle. And finally, I'll have a bit of uh, on the future prospects. Okay, so, um, uh, yes, so, so what, what do we mean by this uh, flavor factory? And, um, you know, so these are uh, relatively low energy E plus E minus machines and operating uh, mostly at the so-called Opsilon forest, uh, you know, say bottom onion BB bar uh, um, resonance uh, at that peak. Uh, so uh, as you see, this, uh, these are uh, lepton machines. So the cross section is not uh, something uh, we can brag about. But luminosity is the key strength. So we are talking of very high luminosity, uh, so-called intensity frontier experiment. Uh, in the plot over here, you see uh, the evolution of peak luminosity uh, at different machines, uh, you know, starting from 1970s, uh, where we are today. And uh, this uh, Bell 2 experiment at Super KP in Japan is basically, uh, will take this luminosity to a stupendous value of 18 to 10 to the power 35. So that's the number we haven't yet reached there. Um, dark matter search, uh, you know, it's, it's not, it, it was not the bread butter physics for this uh, experiment. Uh, the bread butter physics here is flavor physics. So one is talking of the, uh, you know, measuring different CK matrix element and storing CP violation in the beauty and the charm decays. And uh, since uh, we're talking of relatively low energy uh, experiments, so you can't directly search for uh, new physics like LSC, but you can do, uh, you can probe uh, new physics through indirect means uh, by studying super rare decades, especially those who are mediated by uh, the penguins and also looking for forbidden decades, things like uh, lepton flavor violation in tau decades, as, as you all know, this kind of decay has a very um, good sensitivity for new physics. Um, the part which is probably not so well known that uh, although uh, these uh, experiments are for flavor physics, uh, they have done a pretty good job on uh, finding this uh, so-called new particle, these are exotic quarkonium particles. I mean, they're not physics and standard model, but these are the so-called X3872, Y, and Z, you know, that's a tetraquark-like particle. So these are uh, low energy test of QCD for the, you know, quark model, whether you can, uh, you can find out the exotic particle beyond the, uh, the baryon and, and the meson uh, spectrum. And the agenda for today uh, is uh, the dark sector, uh, as I said in the beginning, so, okay. So uh, luminosity is, uh, is the key for this uh, experiment and the uh, current uh, flag bearer is so-called super cake beam machine. And here um, uh, one is planning to deliver E plus E minus collision at uh, this uh, luminosity, which is 40 times uh, that of cake B. And uh, how one will get it? Of course, I don't want to bother you with all the nitty gritty detail, but uh, roughly speaking, luminosity goes, uh, there are two important terms, the beam current in the numerator 
and that uh, you want to increase by two times with respect to what was achieved earlier. And in the denominator, you get the beam size, how small the beam is and uh, the beam cross section. And there one want to squeeze to the so-called 20 times, I mean, to the nanometer, uh, nanometer scale that you see in the right-hand cartoon, the middle cartoon here. Uh, so uh, by doing that, you will achieve this uh, luminosity uh, 18 to 10 to the power 35. Okay, so uh, so here that is the, about the machine, and then we have this uh, uh, the experiment uh, called Bell two uh, detector, uh, so which is designed to operate uh, at similar uh, performance as Bell two Bell, but uh, because you are going to higher uh, intensity, you get much uh, harsher beam background condition. The uh, you know it has several. Uh, uh, components and the key component for the dark matter search, uh, one can say the calorimeter because we will be dealing with photon. Uh, we need this so-called k long muon detector because you would like to veto, you know, you want to make sure that the photons are not going in a crack, so you need to veto that. And in some of the detector, sorry, some of the experiment when you are talking of hadron, you will deal with this particle identification detector, and of course the tracking. The so-called we have this uh, gas-based uh, detector drip chamber, and uh, the other aspect uh, uh, key for the dark matter search uh, searches is so-called the low multiplicity trigger. Okay, and uh, okay, so so that's about the experiment. I I don't want to bore you with that. Um, very briefly about the data we have, um, we want to go to 40 uh, sorry 50 atoban inverse of data. But so far we have just recorded, um, you know, we're in the beginning of the experiment, uh, just uh, <clears throat> recorded eight inverse frame to one of data. And uh, there was a data uh, recorded uh, during the so-called pilot run uh, uh, last, uh, I'm sorry, 2018, uh, where we recorded about half a uh, inverse frame to one, 0.5 inverse frame to one. Typical data efficiency is about 90%. I mean, we want to improve on that, but this is the current status. I mean, of course, as any new experiment, you need to understand the detector and, and then you can optimize more and more on how to optimize the data uh, recording efficiency. Okay, so that much about the experiment last week. Now let's come to the agenda of the day uh, that we want to hunt for light dark matter. And uh, this uh, candidate, they, they, this particle, they have a very uh, low a probability of interaction, right? So uh, the kind of signature we're looking for, we're looking for mediator, uh, we're looking for missing energy signature or, or the both. So depending on the dark matter and the mediator mass relation, as you see in this uh, kind of uh, two dimensional plane, uh, you have different signature. And um, you know some of the results that I will present uh, will, will have a sample from each of these, uh, each of these uh, uh, signature. Okay, so you will say, well, you have LSC uh, as a collider experiment at high energy. And then in particular, if you're talking of flavor, there is a LSCB experiment. Then why you do need this uh, E plus E minus flavor factory? Uh, there are certain uh, positive, uh, you know, the good thing about this experiment. Uh, um, the most important, these are low energy experiment. So you, you are dealing with this uh, light region uh, it provides clean E plus E minus environment. I guess uh, all of you would be knowing E plus E minus versus PP uh, environment. Uh, and the other advantage uh, that would be uh, plugged in in the searches, you have, uh, you can apply energy moment of conservation as opposed to LSC where you can only apply the transverse, uh, you know, uh, conservation in the transverse plane. And you can do the full event interpretation. Again, uh, you, you can fully, uh, uh, reconstruct the event, um, the visible particle, and uh, since you know the initial energy momentum, you can quickly, uh, sorry, you can access what are the recoil, uh, you know, what is missing and the recoil, uh, what is recoiling against the system. You uh, profit from low multiplicity signature, you can do missing energy channels. So thanks to these four properties, you can do, you can search for invisible particle, and you also have access to fully neutral final state. Some of this thing I'm saying that is simply impossible or highly challenging for LSC experiment. So you profit in cleanliness and luminosity and that try to compensate on the cross section. Of course, uh, lepton 
machine versus Hatton machine cross section is never in the left hand side. Uh, if you are interested, you can uh, sort of search. Uh, you can you can find more detail in the so-called Bell to Physics book, and that is uh, published uh, here, uh, archive as well as it is published to PTA. Okay, so now I move on uh, to uh, talk about the dark photon. So these particles uh, are uh, proposed uh, as it is, as part of this so-called vector portal extension of the standard model in this uh, classic papers of by a peer, right? And uh, you you get this uh, QD inspired you you extend to UN prime and you you get this new spin one gas boson I mean other than the photon and that there is a coupling uh, there is a mixing uh, the usual photon with this A prime the dark photon and the epsilon is that uh, the mixing uh, strength and uh, that the mixing uh, parameter and then uh, there is alpha d uh, that is the strength of the the coupling. Uh, so depending on uh, that, what is the mass of this dark photon you are talking about, the A prime, uh, you can either search for the visible standard model particle or the invisible uh, decay, right? So, um, uh, so here in this left plot, you have a canvas of results uh, in uh, in the two dimensional plane of epsilon, which is that mixing uh, parameter I introduced in the previous slide, and uh, a prime, the mass of the dark photon, and here you have several uh, experiment, uh, you know, uh, dark light, E seven seven four, E forty, and all those things, and then WhatsApp, Phoenix, Hades, these are the um, a heavy ion experiment, but then you have Chloe and what you are looking for on towards the right hand side. Um, and uh, here the best limit in the GV energy range came from Babur. Uh, unfortunately, Bell didn't have suitable trigger, low multiplicity trigger, because in order to uh, trigger on this event, you need low multiplicity trigger, trigger and that was not available with Bell. Uh, but in Bell 2, we do have that trigger. And uh, we need a uh, period of data. As I said, we have just collected uh, uh, about eight inverse uh, femtobanger of data. And so we have a search strategy in development, but you can see from this plot that Babur uh, has the, the best uh, possible uh, upper limit in this uh, sort of uh, above uh, one GB uh, onward. And then you see the simulation uh, result uh, from Bell 2, uh, depending on the different uh, luminosity. So 50 atoban inverse is our final target luminosity. And in that, you are talking of uh, sort of excluding this, this limit. So, okay. And here you see a computation uh, with respect to LSCB. Of course, LSCB can go more than 10 GB and that uh, the kinematic reach of uh, Bell 2. But uh, yes, so, so Bell 2 has its own sweet spot that uh, with re respect to LSCB. Okay, so now I go to the invisible dark photon. So here uh, you are just talking of one photon. So there's, a, there's one photon and nothing else. Uh, so your A prime is going to uh, go decaying invisibly. So for that, you need to trigger on one photon. Uh, again, uh, Bell didn't have this uh, trigger, uh, while Babur had partial just for 10% of its data it had the trigger, while of course for Bell 2, this is a, a key uh, physics channel and, and we have this trigger. Uh, so since you are talking of your photon, uh, you, you need to have excellent knowledge of your detector coverage that, uh, you know, whether this photon is going through some crack inside your detector or, or something you are not able to reconstruct and you, you get a fake signal. So uh, these, these are the, uh, you see the detector tomography in a sense, like where the possible uh, place detector can, uh, sorry, the photon can uh, go through and, and giving a fake signal, fake uh, uh, missing signal that you don't want. Uh, so you need to understand your detector very well. At the end of the day, you just want to uh, see a bump in the recoil mass of the photon, uh, you know, the recoil mass of the system uh, recalling against the photon. So that's given by uh, the, the expression over here. And here you have pos possible background largely from uh, QED, uh, like Radiative Baba, where you don't, uh, you, you, are, you are unable to 
uh, you, you miss the uh, reconstruct, miss, miss, uh, reconstructing the photon, or there is a uh, sorry electron, or you have an electron there is no match track, so that also uh, find as, as a photon. That is for high uh, a prime mass. Uh, for low uh, region, you have this uh, uh, two photon uh, uh, event, and then you also have cosmic as as well as this uh, uh, new nuclear gamma. So uh, since I said single photon trigger is the key for such a measurement, and here you see so-called the trigger turn-on curve, um, um, this uh, level one trigger efficiency as a function of center of mass energy. Uh, so here you have this different uh, trigger bit. Uh, we define, we take a R, logical R of this. And what you see beyond something like 1.2 GB or so, uh, you, you, you get uh, more than 99% uh, efficiency. And this is measured uh, in this mu mu gamma uh, event where you, you use the muon kinam uh, kinematics to predict what is the photon. So you don't directly reconstruct the photon, you use the dimuon system to predict what is the photon spectrum should be, uh, like the way you would do in the actual search. So this is uh, much more aggressive than we originally thought and provides an excellent condition to perform the measurement. So uh, here is the sensitivity, um, <clears throat> what you have. Uh, you see uh, that uh, in the uh, mass of uh, above uh, um, uh, 10 to the minus one, I mean, uh, above that, uh, Babur uh, had the best sensitivity. I said Bell couldn't, have, uh, couldn't perform this measurement uh, due to lack of the proper trigger. And in Bell 2, uh, you can see we can go up to uh, some uh, the dashed, dashed line that you see here uh, with a 1 GB threshold in the, in the photon. So compared to power, we profit uh, with our calorimeter, there is no crack in the phi direction and a much larger detector and smaller boost. So therefore, you know, so this is by the way, asymmetric co uh, collision and with a smaller boost. So you have a larger detector coverage. So that profits, uh, profits your search. And here, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the, here, uh, this part, uh, the left part come from this other experiment in a 64, uh, E7787 or E9549. Okay, so uh, yes, so this was the Barber result uh, published a couple of years ago. And uh, we don't yet have the result from Bell 2, uh, but we are working on it. Now we go to uh, this so-called dark Z boson, uh, which is uh, a byproduct of the so-called L mu minus L tau model. These are the uh, two theory paper I'm sure you have seen. Uh, or, yeah, so here one is uh, getting the difference in the muon and the tau lepton number. And so you're, you're, you're getting some new case boson that couples only to the second and the third lepton families. Uh, so this uh, kind of uh, uh, gauge boson that helps to solve a couple of uh, uh, issue uh, we have um, on the dark matter puzzle, the, the muon G minus two, as well as this uh, famous uh, RK RK star, this flavor anomaly is mostly uh, from LSCB experiment. So here uh, you see on the plot uh, right hand side uh, result from Babur. Uh, so here on the y axis, this is upper limit on G prime as a function of, uh, uh, of the Z prime mass. And, and you see uh, like this is the Babur uh, uh, limit. Uh, not much on the higher side, but in this intermediate mass range is a little bit better. And uh, right now, uh, uh, in Bell, we are working on with the full data of one out of one inverse of data, and Bell two. Although we haven't yet got uh, to that fifty out of one inverse of data, our uh, end goal, but even with just uh, hundred fifty one inverse of data, uh, because of this machine learning based background fighting uh, technique, we can be competitive uh, uh, compared to Babur and Bell. Uh, Sorry to interrupt, Gavan, and could you please finish in five minutes? Is yes, all right? I have uh, just okay. two more slides. Yeah. That's great, that's great. So, right. so here is the um, result from this uh, jet prime to invisible. Uh, you see in the recoil mass uh, of the photon, and you see the data points are consistent with the background standard model 
uh, prediction. And this was the first physics paper from Belchu and uh, just using a small data set uh, recorded during the so-called pilot uh, run. Um, and uh, this is the limit you see. And uh, what you see here that uh, with the full data, we can go up to, uh, up to, up to, up to here. Uh, the, um, with the 50 out of one inverse of data, you see this uh, dotted, dotted line, okay? And that uh, we are expecting improvement in immune ID, new trigger and machine learning based selection that I said, okay? So just uh, this part, I can skip the dark Higgs Lang part and just come to the axion-like particle. Uh, this is a, a very interesting result we have recently published to PRL. Uh, so these axion-like particle, they appear in various standard model extension. Uh, basically you are uh, expecting the pseudo Goldstone boson and very light particle. Uh, one is talking of sub MeV uh, mass range. So uh, they, they're coupling to photon. Um, and so what, what one is talking about in the final state, you are talking of uh, three photons. So this uh, so-called the like uh, equivalent to Higgs star you have Alp star So A, A going to this two photon and, and then you are talking of three photon. Okay, so uh, here is the, actually I, I complete, I need to complete this slide, but this is the, the recoil mass spectrum and I am supposed to show a diphoton mass spectrum, but uh, the point is we don't see any excess uh, over the standard model background, which is largely dominated by this QED background. And this is the result that you are interested in, the upper limit in the plane of uh, the coupling of the ALP with the two photon and uh, mass of the ALP. And the mass range that Bell2 has uh, uh, excluded uh, is given here, complementary to the result coming from the other experiment. So that's my last slide. So as, as uh, closing word, uh, one would say that, uh, you know, we, we would have loved to see a uh, new physics result. I mean, you know, some positive new physics signal from LSC, but so far uh, no, no such result has come uh, except for a few anomalies, uh, you know, few excess here and there. But um, so, so this light dark matter is an attractive avenue to probe and here flavor factory provide an excellent prospect uh, thanks to the clean environment as well as the low energy environment. Uh, so already a good part of the parameter space, uh, as, as I showed in a couple of uh, uh, sample uh, of, of result excluded by Bell and Babor and, and uh, Bell2 has a much broader search program, especially thanks to this uh, single photon trigger. Uh, so, so yeah, as an experimentalist, we'd like to uh, continue to dig. Okay, so thanks a lot and uh, sorry uh, for being late. Thank you very much, Gagan, for a wonderful uh, talk. Time for a couple of quick questions, maybe. Uh, I see one question from Srihari. Uh, uh, Srihari, could you please unmute yourself and ask the question? I can't okay, so let, you, Srihari. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask the question for yourself. Okay, sure. Says that one on slide nine, uh, could you please go back to slide nine? Mm -hmm. Why the spikes in the bell expected limits? Um, the spikes, yeah, yeah uh, the spikes over here. Yeah, probably he's asking these spikes. Yes, so yeah. so um, I would say that the, uh, okay. So this is this may be the known. Um, if you uh, think of um, uh, like you know this K star LL or or um, uh, KLL result that we we exclude the charm resonance, right? So I would think these are some kind of cord we have applied to reject some resonance. I, that's what I would think, but I need to check. This doesn't seem like a statistical fluctuation. Um, so if you're talking of the big spike, so these, these are the region where we're not sensitive and I'm thinking whether there's a kinematic uh, veto we have applied. So I, I need to check that. Okay, okay. So one question from Raghu. Raghu, uh, please move on. Hi, Gagan. Um, yeah. Will these uh, ALP limits that you have shown, yeah. will they improve in the near future or it will take a long time before uh, we get better limits? Uh, yes, it will improve, uh, Raghu. So, um, so this is based on just for, you know, the, the pilot okay. data that was collected, what we call the page two data. So uh, it is not, uh, so 
you think of uh, what I showed the detector, uh, the vortex detector uh, was not fully, it was only uh, one part of the vortex detector was, uh, uh, so uh, what we call commissioning ground. So this 445 uh, inverse frame to one data that you see, it is taken from the commissioning ground. Of course, this kind of, uh, sorry, uh, search uh, doesn't need the vortex uh, detector so much, right? You are talking of photon, basically. Mm -hmm. But right now we have the full detector as well as, so you can be uh, more, uh, you know, um, the background, you, you can you can have a better background fighting uh, here. So yes, uh, it is just like a peanut of data that has been used. So I, I would say that we will be doing substantially better and okay, I don't have a projection. Maybe I will see that this projection uh, exists with 50 out of one inverse of data, but I would say, you know, the major part of this, uh, uh, the white uh, area you see empty space, I, I would say they will be uh, covered. I see, great, yeah. thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, so thank you, Gagan, once again. Uh, so I see no more question over here. Okay, thanks, Gagan, and uh, let's thank all the speakers of this session once more.